Ciao. Ciao a tutti. Um, I'm very happy to be with you this time and uh, I hope that everything goes right because you know I have not my director, I have not Ginevra, that is our director player for the video. So I have to make everything alone and I don't know I'm so skilled in this, so please forgive me. Uh, first of all, I'd like to see if you are in and if you can watch and if you have some questions, you know I'm here. I'm here at my cooking school and I'm very happy to meet you here. Today we are going to make a very delicious recipe. It's an old recipe and I'm sure that we are going to make some delicious uh, cookies. Ciao Carlo, ciao Carlo, ciao Fiorella, e ciao Alessandro e Silvia, ciao Silvia. <laughs> I'm very happy to see you even if I need my glasses maybe and uh, I try to, to, to see if I can um, see everything from my PC that maybe uh, it could be uh, a better way to keep in touch with you through this uh, broadcast. And uh, before to give you all direction and all the instruction to make these uh, delicious cookies, I want to uh, say, say thank you to you for uh, um, the 8,000, uh, 8, I think now 9,000 uh, uh, views for the other video about orecchiette and this is uh, really fantastic and this makes me so uh, proud for this. So girls, now um, we are going to, to go. I think that I have everything under the control because mm, I, I see Rachel, there is and Gloria, so I'm and Judy. Oh, perfect. So all the friends are here. I hope someone can uh, come here again and we can start with this delicious recipe. Forgive me if I can't see uh, your comments. Uh, by doing because we I have to work and I have not Ginevra that tell me everything but since we are a bit we can we can start and you trust me these cookies are really really good Taralli is with cookies with red wine and I use for this a uh, delicious Sangiovese wine are very good because uh, they are old and they uh, belong to my homeland Maremma, that uh, is a, a, a land where um, they prepare these cookies for the bride and the groom, for the people who get weddings. And they put these cookies on the table of the people who get weddings. Because there are three things, three ingredients, very simple ingredients in these biscuits. That is oil, that was a wish, to slip away all the problems from the life. There was uh, uh, the sugar to take off the bitter of the life, the, the wish for the bride and the groom. And there was the wine that is what in Tuscany is a symbol of love. So no wine, no love. Let's, oh, ciao Kelly. <laughs> Jolene, molto, molto contenta to see you, girls and guys. And, Carlo, I want to hear you eh? because last time I didn't hear you anymore. <laughs> I hope to see. Okay, guys, yeah. so you saw the ingredients uh, for this uh, recipe and uh, I want to tell you that uh, now I'm going to put just the half part of this because you have lots of cookies with uh, uh, four cups and ingredients that you see in the recipe. This time I just make the half part for the class. So we start with the flour and I take your view in another way so I think now it's better for you to see. Hope you have another view from this. Okay and so I go to put two glass of flour. You know the flour is the double O flour. What in Italy we use and unfortunately you have maybe something reversed is a double O flour. So the, our pastry flour that uh, has no yeast inside. So nothing inside, just flour for cakes. Okay. We have to this some yeast. In this case, 
I use bacon yeast in powder that for this will be just two teaspoons. So we go with this and I'd like you to sieve this because it's very important that flour and yeast are together with a smooth powder. So I don't want to see big pieces of yeast, otherwise it will be no more good for your cookies. Perfect. At this point, we just make a hell, a well in our fountain. In this way, I can use, uh, for example, the glass. Okay. And I go to add the other ingredients that, since we are just using two cups, so the half part, in this case, will be the half part of one, and so half glass of sugar. So we put this before everything. And I know that maybe you can make a mess on your pastry board, but you can also make everything inside a bowl. At this point we pour our wine in a glass and we use just the half part. In my case I use a bit less of this because you know we don't rest uh, the pasta dough so it's better that we use a less amount of liquid. We go first with some oil and go inside enlarging the flour. Other oil. So you just touch the sugar, if you see. Then some wine. And we go just touching the sugar again. You see everything is inside. Hello from Long Island. My grandma made this all time, so delicious. Ciao, ciao Rachel Danselio. I'm happy to see you. Hello from Tuscany, from near Lucca. And ciao Gianpaolo, ciao Gianpaolo. So let's go. Taking some flour inside. And again the oil. So we alternate the two ingredients. I tell you again, don't worry if you think to make a mess because everything has to be a mess when you are making a dose with your hands. It's important that you have always your second hand clean. Remember, even when you are making the pasta dough, always I tell you to have the hand clean, the other hand clean, so you can work. So we add some more wine. And at this point, some more oil again. This is corn oil, you know. I put this in the, in the ingredients. Huh? One again. And we go by the hand and this time try to take everything you go ahead and you enlarge remember i hope you see eh? my friends the color that comes up is like a, a light gray color if you, i don't know if with the camera you can see it it's a gray nuance of color Pink, gray, pink because of the wine. So as I told you, this is the right texture that you have to reach. I'm happy for this because we have not something too much fresh and it should be not easy to have a dough like this because we have not time to rest it during the the live stream class, huh? the live stream class, pardon. Stefano, ciao Stefano. 
Making mess is my thing, dice Carlo. <laughs> I don't believe you, Carlo. I know you are a precise chef. <laughs> okay, Gareth. So, we have... Pardon that I take off our... And for this, we just clean a bit our table. Okay. And now you see there are some there is something that is not completely shaped because this is very fresh. So if you are at home, you leave it 20 30 minutes uh, to rest and you'll have something uh, much better than this, okay? But we we go working and we try to make our terrali as well. We take a plate and we put some sugar on our plates. This will be a real good touch of our cookies. And now I want to show you what's more difficult. Sorry, I just going to wash my hands. And now I want to show you what's more difficult, but that difficult is not. So we need to make some stick like for orecchiette, like for, oh, I want to, I try to, to see you. And like for a trophy, if you remember. So we just take one small part of our dough and we try to make a piece that is, uh, mm, I think, two centimeters, so one inch and a bit more tight. So take, pardon. So now it's a bit difficult, but don't worry. We just divide in two parts and we take another. So when you have your, um, when you have your um, stick like this, you divide this in the half, like this, and go, I go near to show you, and you go working, going with your, the palm of your hand, you have to go always toward the left. This because I am right. If you are left, you go forward the right. So the movement that you have to do is Rolling, pressing a bit, feeling your dough under your palm, and when you don't see anymore the other part, the end part of your dough, you leave and then you can give the shape. We start from the part that is thinner. So in this case, we start rolling from this. I want to show you, hope you, hope you can, Hope you can see, okay? Tell me if you can see, eh? I go with this. Faccio un po' di spazio. Try to see. I go from the part that is thinner and I go rolling and pressing until I don't see any more this. So I go I press and roll, I press and roll, I go forward the left. You see, I don't see anymore, so I take off my hands and I see that the center is bigger than the side. At this point, I close this in this way, small pinch and then a small twist. So be sure there is a hole inside. We take this and we just go one side in the sugar in this way. So we just press and take and put in our tray. What is strange in this is that we are going not to use anymore our 
butter or oil or grease because there is the oil inside the taralli so it's not necessary to grease our tray but just put them in our tray so you may not have to use the whole amount of the wine or the more yes of course Rachel you can I answered to Rachel <laughs> you can use the half part if you want a lot of cookies 500 grams that is four cups in my opinion is the right size so I suggest you to use the right size of this and uh, if you want you can make a try a test and you can use just the half part like me in this case okay so I just show you again another so I want you and um, you well understand the movement okay so I put you down sorry so we just have our snake remember that yours can be rested so it's is a bit better so when we have this we just cut in half like this we take the side that is thinner like this in this case and I show you again that you can see I go rolling rolling feeling the hand rolling i don't see anymore the hand i stop and when i stop this i go too close like this first with a small pinch then with a twist and i put everything in the sugar pressing a bit and be sure there is the sugar just one side then I put in the tray like this okay guys and we go again if you have question tell me I am here for you so ciao Dorian <laughs> don't worry to ask me everything you know I'm here huh? tell me if you see if you can if you can see the, the movement that this is very important I want to learn very well this so now we try to another kind of view so on face we go we go I go toward the left I go forward the left when I don't see anymore I stop I go with the first part with a small pinch then I take the sugar, just press a bit, be sure there is a well inside. Then I take this and I put in my tray. So we have three now, okay guys? This is really easy. Go again, show you, huh? Let, we go rolling and pressing rolling and pressing when I don't see anymore the last part I just close with a pinch and then with a twist put in the sugar just one side and go in my tray You like this guys so I'm here eh? tell me okay Judy asked me uh, about how many cookies does she make um, okay <laughs> you can make uh, I think just one of these with the half part so with this that I have in this moment you can have uh, um, just one tray like this so if you make the 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 dose the size that you gave with the instruction and the direction so if you use four cups of flour that are the ingredients that I told you before 
you can have two of these trays full because I make this very often with the half amount that is this and I make just this full. Oh, I can't see exactly how we are rolling the dough. Jolan, thank you because I, <laughs> I don't know if you can see and this is a very helpful for me. And Judy, okay, I answered to Judy, okay, perfetto. Tarallo, yes, uh, the name Tarallo is, uh, is uh, belonging to a tradition that is very old and maybe we think that it comes from toast, that is an uh, Italic name. Maybe we can think that it comes from another um, language, that it was ancient Greek, that it was a uh, darato, so a, a kind of bread. Everyone who is from Puglia, I'm sure, know the different origin of uh, Tarallo. And you know, this were my, my granny always uh, um, to, uh, talked with me about uh, the women that uh, met in the courtyard in the afternoon or in the evening, and they prepared this for the bride and the groom for, of the day after. And this was a, an incredible uh, teaching for me because uh, when I see Taralli, I think they are always for a bride or for a groom. <laughs> so girls, let's go with this. The thinner part is this. Ah, another thing, remember that is uh, very good. They are big in the center and thinner on the side. So now I show you the last time this. We go, we go, we go, we go toward. Then you see, we just close with a pinch and then with a twist. They hold the wrist and we go with the sugar. Just one side and we put here, okay? Now, I want to show you, now I want to show you the taralli already cooked. Tell me if you want to see one time more or if I can go to show you the taralli already done. Taralluccio e tarallo piccolo, yes. Yes, <laughs> Carlo is a, is a, has a culture in this. Uh, yes, uh, uh, Jolan um, asked me if the dough be made, can be made ahead and, of time and be frozen. Of course, you can, without problem. Remember that when you, froze, uh, when you freeze some dough, you risk that is too much uh, moist, too much wet when you take off. So be sure maybe to have, um, to leave to rest a bit more and to take off some wet with a kitchen paper, not, not had uh, uh, flour because I, I am afraid um, they come too much hard. Another question, did you serve this at your wedding? <laughs> no, I didn't serve this at my wedding because, uh, or maybe someone, yes, uh, served it, but I didn't eat <laughs> because uh, at my wedding, I think that I didn't also uh, eat anything. <laughs> I was to move it. <laughs> okay. Oh, ciao Pepe. <laughs> Ciao Pepe, I saw Pepe that was online. So guys, I take the already done taral. That is this. This, you can, you can feel the noise of crispy tarali. You look, okay. So I want to show you the consistence and how they are crispy. Hope you... They are very crispy and this is the right consistence. I can assure you... You can be sure they are not hard. They are crispy but not hard. And if you 
listen to me, I give you a suggestion. Please take down with a soak down with a liquid that you like very much. For example, in my case, I like Vinsanto, Malvasia, Marsala. Now I have Marsala. That I use it for making other desserts if you remember. And so I just want to show you. You just dip this in this one. You can dip this here. They suck all the liquid. They are delicious and you have to tell me if I have I'm right or if I am wrong. Anyway, um, another trick that I want to teach you is that if you leave, when you are working, if you leave the taralli over the tray like this, for example, that I make before, remember? Okay. While they are there to rest, they take all the flavor from the sugar as well because the sugar even if it's not if the, even if there is not liquid the sugar melts a bit and so give the right texture because when they cook they caramelize on the surface and then there is the sugar inside so when you finish it to put your taralli in your tray you have to go in the oven. In this case, you know, I have this oven. And uh, you just turn off the oven to 350 uh, um, Fahrenheit, that is 180 uh, Celsius. And uh, you put in the oven 350 Fahrenheit for 20 minutes. No more. I'm, I'm uh, sure it's not necessary more and you can use fan after you have this color and this right consistent and as you can see nothing is sticked to the tray because there was um, the oil inside the corn oil inside and so is they are perfect and they no need kitchen paper Okay, Rachel, I think that I, 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 has, I um, answered you with 350 uh, Fahrenheit for 20 minutes fan. <laughs> Guys, uh, I hope we, um, you enjoyed this, this class. Remember, remember to share so there is, a, there is the possibility. Uh, the more you share on your page or with your friend, more there is the possibility to, um, to run again these free courses, these free live stream classes. And another thing that I want to tell you is uh, uh, that you can ask me always the question because I jump here even when the broadcast is done. So enjoy our page, Cooking Classes in Tuscany. Quoke in vacanza and also enjoy our fantastic group on Facebook that is Dolce Vita in Tuscany Food and Trips. I greet you and uh, I just see if you have some more questions. I think I don't see anything more. So I think I can't wait to make and taste this. Ah, okay. Uh, um, Gloria, you have to tell me, I'm sure that uh, you love this. And uh, is corn oil necessary? Can I use different oil like canola? Yes. Uh, Carlo, you can use another kind of oil. Uh, it's important that you don't use an oil with a strong taste. Anyway, my granny made this even with extra virgin oil. So don't worry. The important is okay for extra virgin oil because I tasted them and they were good. No, an oil that has uh, some mm, some some taste. For example, in my opinion, often the sunflower oil has uh, a particular taste. <laughs> Grazie, Gloria. <laughs> 
Grazie mille. Thank you that you tell me that is a, a, another class, a great class. You are so kind, you are so friends for me and I am so happy to be with you during these uh, streamings. And I hope to, to meet you again nextly. And uh, I wish you a good evening. Ciao Lucio! <laughs> so keep in touch girls and tell me how will be your taralli. <laughs> ciao ciao ciao! Ciao a tutti! Ciao ciao ciao!